guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial that is inspired by the Velveteen Lip Liquid Lipstick by Lime Crime. This color is super, super popular right now and it finally got back in stock so I jumped on it, I ordered it, and I just really wanted to do kind of like a grungy makeup look that basically was inspired by this. So I did some kind of like pinky, rusty pink eyes um, with some brown eyeliner and definitely this on the lips, but I put it over Max Lip Liner in Plum. So it's not the exact color that this turns out, but I find out that this lacks a little bit of dimension on my lips without anything underneath. So I just wanted to add a little bit of something underneath just to give it a little bit more color so it didn't wash me out so much. But this is an amazing liquid lipstick. I love it. It's such a neat color and I'm really happy with the way this look turned out. I also added some individual small eyelashes to the eyes to make the upper lash line a little bit more fluttery. So I really hope you guys like this and if you'd like to see how I got it just stay tuned and keep on watching and I'll take you through it step by step. Thanks! So to start off, I'm going to be using a dark brown cream eyeshadow base. This is a Pink Pop by MAC in the color Groundwork. And I'm just going to be applying it all over the lid as well as along the lower lash line just to begin that grungy look and to provide a really nice sticky base for the eyeshadow. Using Max eyeliner in the color Teddy, I'm going to be aligning the lower waterline. Now moving on to one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. This one is by Marc Jacobs and the colors are just so fantastic. They're so pigmented and I'm so excited to be using this rusty pink color today. So I'm just going to be patting that all along the outside of the lid and the inner corner of the lid but leaving the center of the lid blank because we're going to be putting a different color inside of there. So using this packing motion is just going to help you get the most color payoff. time to just quickly blend out those edges with a clean blending brush. Now moving on to that center color, I'm going to be blending these two yellow, gold, and copper colors together and just packing that all along the center of the lid. And I really like how these two colors blend together. I just think they look really, really nice together and that gold just brings some light and dimension to the eyelid.
Now moving on to a dark matte brown color and just a tapered blending brush, you're just going to want to blend out the edges of that eyeshadow that we already put down. It's just going to smoke it out a little bit and soften up everything we put down. Going back to our eyeliner in Teddy, we're just going to be kind of messily lining the upper lash line. This is just going to add a little bit more smokiness and a little bit of definition to the lashes. To soften up that liner just slightly, just take a flat shader brush and blend using side to side and upward motions. Now we're just going to be using the lightest color in the Marc Jacobs palette and just packing it underneath the eyebrow and a little bit in the tear duct. Curling the eyelashes and adding a couple coats of mascara, I'm going to be using small clump eyelashes. They're basically three individual lashes stuck together and I'm going to be applying about four to the upper lash line. And I show you how I do the first one and then I cut out the rest of it just because it's kind of time consuming. But I'm just going to be putting them on the outer corner and then a couple all the way to the inner corner just to add some interest to the upper lash line. And I just like how those lashes look. On to brows, I'm going to be using my favorite Gimme Brow by Benefit, just filling in those gaps in my eyebrows and then adding a little bit more color with my Maybelline Brow Drama. On to the face. I'm going to be starting off with a radiant primer. This one is by MAC and just applying that all over the skin. And then I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender and my Rimmel foundation to just apply a nice light layer all over the face. Now on to concealer, I'm taking this RCMA palette and these two lighter colors and just applying that all over underneath the eye just to highlight that under eye area. I'm then going to be blending everything in with my beauty blender.
So as you guys know, I love my highlighter. So I'm using this yellow based highlighter from MAC and just applying it underneath kind of right where that darkness is just to cancel out the shadow a little bit more and just blending that in. Blush. This is a really gorgeous blush from NARS. It's kind of like a rose shimmery color. I've had it for ages. Just applying that to the apples of the cheek and sweeping it back to the hairline. Time for a quick highlighter. I'm using this cream highlighter from Becca and just applying that to the tops of the cheekbones and the cupid's bow. I wanted to keep the skin really radiant to balance out the super matte lipstick, so I'm taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and just placing it all over the skin and this just makes for a really nice lit from within kind of glow to your skin. To finish off the look, we're going in with the lips and I'm starting off with Max Lip Liner in Plum. I did this just to try and create a little bit more dimension because I found that cashmere on its own was a little bit washed out on me. It kind of was a little monotone. So I thought this might just create a little bit of extra interest. So I'm lining the whole lip and I'm coloring it all in before I apply the cashmere liquid lipstick over top. As you can see, I'm super excited about finally having this in my possession. I've been waiting for this for a long time, and I'm just applying it all over the lips. And no one talks about how good this stuff smells. It smells like, I don't know, brownie batter or something. Ugh, it just smells amazing. Um, but as you can see, it is so pigmented. It just cancels out that plum color right off the bat. And um, But I think that undertone helps, even though it's kind of covering it up. I still think it helps to just add a little bit more color to the grayish kind of shade that the cashmere color is. Um, just looks a little bit better on me than the using the liquid lipstick alone. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Thanks again for stopping by.